Hi there, this is Shen. I'm a street photographer based in New York. After I was shooting for a street style magazine called Street Magazine, I launched my own project called The Way You're The Day, where I take photos to record the youth fashion scene on the streets of New York City. Go check out my Instagram. There are over 600 photos that I've been taking for this photo project since 2015. Hi guys, this is Icons Volume 3 from The Way You're The Day project. Today, who I'm gonna talk about is a girl named Tori. Mm-hmm. I have taken her photos nine times in the past. First time I took a photo of her was June 2016, when she was walking down Prince Street with her friend Lisette. Ever since I first met her, we've done some projects together, some fashion photo shoot for client. I casted her for the model. One time I made my hoodie as my own project and then she helped me as a model. And also we generally bumped into each other on the streets with the parties we go. Every once in a while we see each other and then we catch up. Yeah, she's definitely one of my icons in New York City. And I love her outfit all the time. And what's great about her is that she always dresses in a different style such as like this one kind of casual, you know, like the hat, the jeans. And this one, like, kind of crazy, you know, like, it's almost half naked on the top. But sometimes she does this kind of, like, kind of um, very relaxed style. How she dresses is very interesting and fun. I like how she wears her cardigan, one side off the shoulder, and this, like, green scarf. It's, like, really nice accent. Yeah, party again. Yeah, she's a little more dressed up over here. I like how she puts the high heels with this sort of a casual outfit, such as like hoodie and leather jacket. These heels are like light blue, so it's really standing out. I like her flare pants with the platform. Yeah, this one is a little bit simple too. All the outfits are in different style. There is no one thing that she likes to do. Like she does like so many different things. Yeah, she's really good at catching a trend ahead of time. So all her outfits, I see a little bit of uh, nuance of a trend in it. There's always an excitement. Yeah, and then the first photo, um, the first time I shot her, I feel very personally about this photo. To be honest, I don't really remember what the day was like when I actually took this photo. I think I just shot up them just because I thought they were cool. So I didn't think that I would feel about this picture the way I do now at the moment. But as time went by, this photo started standing out to me when I was looking back on the pictures from the past. I wasn't really sure why that happened, but what I think I figured out was that for me, those two girls in this picture are a representative of the youth fashion scene on the streets of New York City, in my opinion. It's not just about their appearance, but also the attitude that comes from the confidence with themselves, being comfortable with themselves, and rushing to be a little bit of ahead of time and assertive in their youth, all mixed up. This energy, I think, is only generated when you're in your youth, and this is something the New York kids have in common. I really like how she doesn't care that she doesn't have a makeup on and still has a cool attitude towards a camera. You know, this is exactly what it is. I love it. I used this picture for actually so many different things. My um, Instagram profile photo and my YouTube profile photo. And I picked this picture for the cover of the book I published last year. That way you were the day, issue one. And I even made a hoodie, the illustration of this picture embroidered on the back by my embroidery artist friend Wells. Oh, I'm just getting off the subject, but he's a really great artist. So go check out his Instagram. All his work is amazing. There's a story about uh, her name, Tori. Um, when I first met her, for some reason, I didn't get her name right. And I thought her handle name, which is Nipi Minaj, is her name. I even saved her number in my contact with the name Nipi. <laughs> you know, it's um, completely wrong. I just kept calling her Nipi. One day, she all of a sudden asked me, why do you call me Nipi? And I was like, wait, isn't that your name? And she's like, my name is actually Tori. That was really embarrassing, you know. Um, she was actually a good sport about it. She's like, no, just leave it that way. And then just keep calling me Nippy. It's, it's more fun. And that's what she said, I remember. Tori, I'm so sorry about that. So today I was talking about a girl named Tori. She's one of my favorite people in New York. Yeah, one of the coolest people I know. 
If you guys have any questions or something you want me to do this um, my YouTube channel, there's something you want to ask, something you want to know further. Yeah, I would love to talk about it. So please let me know. Yeah, just like leave a comment down below or you can just DM me through my Instagram. Yeah, either way, I would really, really appreciate if you guys could help me that way. Nippy, Tori, thank you so much. Hope to see you soon again. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye.